like start with the one. It's like I hate episode I hate the episode two and three just for the actor itself, but for and that plays Anakin. Well, he he's a good actor. Eh. It's just like it's just that pe- people say that the script wasn't good enough for him to act good. Like I've seen him in his other. Like he is a good actor, but I I mean I liked it. I mean, I don't think it was that. I don't think the script was that bad. It was just kind of like people just thought it was like either cheesy or just a bad script in general. But I, I personally thought it was okay. I thought the script was pretty cheesy for the most part. Like it was something that you you can kind of read, like you can kind of know what already without even seeing the movie. Mm-hmm. Well, you can, to be fair, you could do that with a lot of movies. Yeah, exactly. That's like, why Star they're Wars fucking cheesy at the time. It just happens to be one. It just happens to fall into that category. But yeah, okay. But Star Wars, Star Wars one though. How? Star Wars Episode one. How about that? What I like. You, I like Episode one. On it's kind of like the kind of his origins of just how he became who he was. Like you kind of do. Yeah, you, I, I like. I liked it because it's it's how everything started. It wasn't bad. For, it, it was nineteen. It was nineteen ninety nine. Like but, it wasn't. It was pretty good for 1999 standards. Yeah, because like it's it was the point of the tri- the the tri- the prequel trilogy was trying to like set the bar above above what the possibilities of the original three were trying to do. Like trying to like what the original three was able to do was pretty good, but they wanted to like. I honestly think the original three still stuff. stands above though. It's like you kind of can't really beat that for the most part. Well, I guess, but what they were trying to—they were trying to like make sure that, like, in as many aspects as possible, they were trying be, to kind of be that younger. Uh, in other the words, they're being the younger brother. They were trying to like set the bar, set the bar with the prequels, like in in any aspect that they could, and I think they did a pretty okay job of that. Like they they told the origins pretty well. Like, yeah, everything kind of every kind of flows. Some of the act. Pretty well. Some of the acting is a bit questionable, but it works, I guess. Most, most, if all, if not all, things are pretty consistent. You're too nice. Like, let me be honest, you're too nice about this. Look, I just, I'm just positive. I don't know. You're really a like, positive are, person. Like, I, like, I can find flaws about it, but you, but then. No, I see flaws too, but I, I see flaws too, but some of them I'll ignore. But and some of them I'll just like be like, yeah, that's a flaw. That's kind of inconsistent. Yeah, but you kind of you like, gotta at least I, like mention them. They're kind of out in the open. Yeah, I, I'm aware of I'm aware of it. I just don't really point it out to I I I, I avoid to, I avoid pointing it out to make it seem like I'm not. I just I just avoid pointing it out because I don't want to sound like I don't I don't want to sound like a cynic who just doesn't fucking like anything. It's like. It's not that, like, it's not that I hate movies. It's just that, like, when there's things that are wrong with things, you kind of have to mention them. Well, some some of those things I don't choose to mention because I can just, like, either make up an excuse or just flat out ignore them. <laughs> like, it's, like, for example, d- dude, you can, you can trash on the prequel trilogy all you want, but there, you, you cannot lie. There are some things. There are a lot. Of, there is. There are as many things as wrong with the real, original trilogy as there are with the prequel. Yeah, trilogy. I can. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can definitely that. talk with that. Like, it. No, neither of them is a perfect. Yeah, trilogy. yeah. Neither. No, trust me. We're Even probably never ever probably. gonna find a perfect trilogy. There will never be a perfect trilogy of Star Wars, but there will there won't be a perfect anything of anything. It's just how it's just how the world is. No, nothing is perfect. Except for Battlefront. But uh, for Battlefront. you just gotta take it for what it Except is. Except for Battlefront, you, that's perfect, no matter what. <laughs> well, a lot. Of, yeah, there are there are a few things that are perfect out there in the world. Battlefront. As far as some some of those things, it's just a a vast a majority of things aren't perfect, but there are those very. But then there's the small few that are perfect. Anyway, episode one. I think it was pretty good. Origin. Yeah, story. episode one. I'll agree with you on that one. Episode one is an A plus on my on well A on my point. Man, we're gonna get so much fun. I I think it's just I think people just hated episode one because of Jar Jar. 
which I don't see why. It's Jar- because Jar Jar is an F. That's why I give him an A. Jar Jar is honestly not a problem for me. Jar Jar's like I Jar Jar is like poison in my ears, but you could ignore him. Like, yeah, it's like it's like with any like annoying. Like I agree that he was annoying, but it's like you, you can know, ignore it. Who, you can ignore it. It's not like don't if you don't if you don't like him, then just just forget about him. It's easy. It's as easy as that. Don't like, don't act like he's the center of a team. Completely. All he is, he's just comic relief, and that's it. That's all he is. Really bad comic relief, Solis, but comic Solis, relief nonetheless. All this is allowed to have comic relief. He's really bad comic relief. I mean, just relief. look at C3PO and R2-D2. It's like, they're not perfect. Just look at C3PO and R2-D2. Like, R2-D2's yeah. kind of fine, but now so C3PO can get annoying too. Yeah. Everyone has their, everyone has their, like, their, their like, personality traits. Just some of them are more, no- has, some of them are just more annoying than others. Yeah. So just deal. So my my word about Jar Jar, deal with it. <laughs> Put on deal with Plan the glasses. Deal with the glasses, quick. I'm just kidding. Anyway, yeah, episode one, pretty good. Episode two, um, more action packed than the first. Definitely. Um, a lot more CGI, which isn't a bad thing as CGI was still kind and of like big. you got you. I'll give it a pass. A pass? Yeah, because the CGI was sort of early. Yeah, the CGI, it was kind of like, that was the first movie that introduced uh, CGI Yoda as well. Obviously. So, all, all the other versions of Yoda in the previous movies were puppet versions. Which weren't but perfect at all. He, was, he went into CGI mode, as a lot of other things did. Because, how else are you going to, what, you're just going to put... Puppet clones, puppet droids, puppet everything. I think they would use and real like, people for droid like, for clones. And then, yeah, you like you like you like puppet Yoda. Yeah, you you don't like you don't like CGI Yoda. Yeah, I'm sure you want to see. I'm I'm pretty sure that you want to see puppet Yoda fight. That would be so amazing. That would be the most action packed. Yeah, it's like you could do a lot more with Yoda instead of what happened originally. How would how would you even like make a lightsaber battle with puppet Yoda? It's so, easy, just make I it to a huge puppet like, fight. <laughs> I just imagine like them with strings like, on the top ridiculous. and just like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like what, how like Ego Raptor did it. Just do what Ego Raptor did. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's not entirely professional, though, but I guess that's why so many people love it. <laughs> e- either way. Yeah. Um, I bet you that's, I, yeah. that would be funny if that was exactly like that. <laughs> yeah. Penis flight saber <laughs> battles. But yeah, flight saber fight saber. Uh, but yeah, I think I think the amount of action in episode two was pretty much pretty good. It wasn't like. It wasn't so hard. Uh, I love the it, episode two is, is like it has a good amount of action, action, I guess. Yeah. Episode three is the, the mwah, mwah. the mwah. In terms of action, mwah, mwah, mwah. It's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. because episode one offered a lot more exposition, exposition than action and then action, but episode two offered about a mix of that. Well, it offered more and action than three. anything really. Yeah. Episode two. Kinda, it's like episode one is the exposition. Episode two is the more more the action episode. And episode three is more of that mix. Yeah, I think so. Like that's why it's like the better um, of the three. Like episode three is probably the best of the trilogy. Yeah, episode three is the best. But I haven't really finished talking about episode two yet. Episode two. The, people say the CGI is like hard to watch. Uh, yeah, I guess. I guess breathing is also hard for you to do, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, you, yeah, you just, just you just diss them you, all. Oh yeah, my god! Again, just deal Burn. With it. Like I can't just deal yeah. with it. Seriously. It's not, 